Okay, folks, he's back. Yes, we've got uh, <laughs> Valentine Hollick right here with us. And uh, the title that he's chosen for this video is Diamonds of Love, The Golden Sun. So, Valentine, take it away. <laughs> yeah, well, aloha from Molokai. I'm still in Molokai. I mean, with all the canoes and all the paddlers, like 100 boats from around the world come in internationally for Chicago. The guys come in with the Polish hat. They go, hey, aloha. And these are the world champions from Poland in Chicago. You know, and they give me the hat. Look, you got the Polish hat, the Polish front. They give me the shirt that they won last year, the champions. 40, 41 miles they go on the boat to from Molokai. They have a race with 100 boats, canoes. And then they go to Oahu. And then from a they leave from here. I thought we were going to get together afterwards. They get a, a what they call a, a, another boat, and then they follow them, right? An escort, they call it. And then they stay in Oahu. You don't even see them after that. These are 100 boats. They just go to the other island, 41 miles on the channel from Molokai to Oahu. It takes like five, six hours, you know, 5.5 yeah. .5 hours, six hours to go on, on air, you know. Through, through the channels. And it's really rough, brother. These guys train all year long. Wow. For these races. Yeah. Wow. And I'm involved. I'm involved. He gives me the shirt, his own shirt. He go, I go, I, I love the Polish shirt. I said, they have the eagle on and all. The four of them show up, the four champions, right? And the one guy goes, oh, he's the international champion in the world. I go, great. Well, I'm a baseball player. I'm in the Hall of Fame as a ball player. Oh, we got to give you this hat, the Polish hat. He goes, my sweetheart starts talking in Polish to him, Marjena. Oh, she starts going, are you from, uh, you're speaking Polish. I'm in the car. She can hear him speaking Polish. And he's going, aloha, do you know where, 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 where we could get to the store? I says, yeah, I'll tell you. And then he opens it up and, and they're all Polish and she speaks the language. They all come out. And they're telling me all about the canoe that they're going in on the weekend, getting ready to go on a 41 mile journey. Can you believe it? Yeah, that's, that's a long way to go in a canoe. I, I yeah, can't imagine. That. And they train all year long just for this race. They train all year in Chicago, in, uh, uh, in Tahiti. Tahiti comes in, the Polynesians. And guess who won? I don't know. Hawaii. They Hawaii a won. And a hundred boats. Yeah, Hawaii won the race. <laughs> okay. The big island. So, well, let's, let's, let's start talking about the diamonds of love and the golden sun. That's what you wanted to actually yeah. uh, share with us. So, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, well, the diamonds of love, again, you know, I spoke about this on, on, on the video where we're sharing with our hearts, you know, the light that we carry in our communities and our families and internationally around the globe, we, 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 have, to, we have to shine our, our golden light. That, that, that's why I call it the golden suns. It's the three rings into the, the core of the true sun, which is called, it's, it's, it doesn't burn you. You know, it, it's an experience in Northern California where it's a, it's a light. It's like God's light over you. You know, it, 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 it surrounds you in where you're glowing. You, you glow with this light that we come from heaven. And I experienced it. And that's why I said the golden suns. Yeah, and you know, I've, I've actually heard of people that actually emanate a light that you can physically see. And I, and I, I don't know, I probably mentioned it on some of my videos. But one night I had an experience where my, the whole room, it's the middle of the night. And the whole room became illuminated. And I mean, it was the yes. presence of God in the room. Yes. Yes. And I'm glad you brought that up. And that's what I'm speaking of with the golden suns, you know, and, and, and I've, oh, people call me golden suns. When I was on Maui, I had, it's called golden suns at shaka.com. And in Hawaiian, shaka means hang loose, like the peace sign. Like we okay. do the peace sign, right? Right. Of course. So in Hawaii, it's called they go hang loose. You see what I do like this? Yep, I've Hawaii. seen that sign also. Yeah, so they go hang loose, right? So that's what we need to do is 
that, that presence, that presence of, 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 of the Holy Spirit, you want to call it, you want to call it the, 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 that energy, like you said, the presence of God, the Lord, is within all of us. And we've all got that presence, and we need to surround that presence around the globe. Because of all the yeah, well, religion, of course, gets in the way of that. <laughs> yes. Because yes. when we think that we're the only yes. ones that are right, we build walls which prevents us from loving. <laughs> yes, yes. And, and, and what, what you're saying is exactly. And, you know, I got to say this in the United States, and I grew up here and I traveled in different parts of the world, and so have you. But we're, th we're like 300 years young. We're, we have like Japan, 5,000 years old, uh, uh, China, uh, South America's 3,000 years old. We got to start listening to the other countries too, and and formulate our presence together, right? You know, well, I, I do agree that some of the indigenous people have a yeah. connection to spirit that that Westerners in our Western religions don't teach, or they don't practice yes. anyway. Yes. Well, it's interesting you said that, and that's that's how I got involved with the African shaman, the yogi in Northern California. That's where I experienced the golden suns in Northern California, like the burning bush. I, it was, it was it just, I would, I didn't know this, this, this rays of light, this presence came at me from my throat chakra all the way to the root chakra, which is our, our, our root, you know, uh, of, of, of our base, right? The root chakra. Right. And it lined me on gold. And, and when it happened to me in the wilderness, I get on a plane and the woman, I'm in first class and the woman goes, where did you, where'd you get that tan? I never, I've traveled the world. Where did you get that golden tan? I became gold. I was like all golden <laughs> from this presence. And I'm not kidding you. How old were yeah. you then? I was in my, in my uh, late twenties, early thirties. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, it's, been, little, it's been three or four years ago then. Right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping the youth alive, right? <laughs> so I, or, the, or the imagination of the youth. <laughs> right, there you go. <laughs> well, I ask people, how young are you? I don't ask people how old they are, right? How young are you? How present are you? How well, one week you from right? today, I'm going to be 71. Wow, you look wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Wait to really get you from a day, day, day older than 23. <laughs> but your spirit I is don't alive. Think so. <laughs> okay, all right, thirty-three. We'll give you a thirty-three number or forty-four. How's that? Well, I still have <laughs> wrinkles and stuff like that. So, <laughs> but, I, but your soul is eternal, right? So we're eternal souls, just going through this incarnation of this lifetime. You know, we're working through things to help humanity. That's what we're supposed to do, and I think that's what I'm bringing about the golden. I think we're presence of remembering who we really are is lacking in the world today. I think that people are, are, are either afraid of it or because of the power that exists within them, the male, the female, the feminine knows the power that they carry. They, they were warriors from the beginning. They were, they were very powerful. The men know the power they carry, but you got to carry it with enlightenment, with light and, and heart. Well, that's the problem. The people that have run roughshod over everybody else's rights in the world, the people that claim to be in charge, don't have love. They don't exercise love. They don't speak the truth. I mean, it's, yeah. all, it's all a game to them. And it's a yeah. very sick game for everybody else. Yes. And so, the, like I mentioned before, the goodness and the light and the hearts of the people, if they join together and, and they unite, and they do it quietly and all over the world, lighting their light within their hearts and their communities and their families. It will spread like, 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 like wildfire in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a joyous way. And then we wouldn't have all this darkness and negativity come and douse it out because we're brighter and brighter and brighter, the golden suns. We gotta be brighter with the presence of God. The presence of the Lord, you know, the, the 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 energy, like you said, the Polynesians, they're very awake. These people get on canoes 
they, they go through three hours in the ocean. I'm with them. They're extreme, extreme. They, they go three, three days without even getting on the beach to get a shower. Just to travel from one part of the island of Molokai to another where I'm at, I'll be with them after the taping, inviting me to come down and share with them. And, and, and they're going to take showers. They're bringing their boats in. They're physically in, in motion. And I think we're missing that in nature. I mean, of all places, could you imagine being on the sea for three days just, just to travel on Molokai or another part of the world in the Polynesian? That's their trip just to go and, 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 and uh, w with an escort boat to make sure, because the channels are very, very rough. I mean, you know, really, really rough. And, and that's why a lot of people don't want to come through Molokai because of the rough channels. You could get swallowed up, you know? I imagine like some people do. <laughs> they do. So that's what I'm saying. You know, I think humanity needs to start to listening. I think the U.S., you know, if it's prayer, if it's touching people and what way we can be of help and service to one another with, with our families, uh, they, they, I've seen so much regards to if we, if we interact with one another, engage with one another and step in and, 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 and get involved. I think that the light will get brighter and brighter, Rod. I really believe that people will get brighter and brighter. We can't allow this, uh, you know, to any longer because we have to turn things around because of the no, nature of the cleansing. The, I planet. keep saying love is the only way that we're going to heal. There is no yep. other way provided uh and as long as we're building walls and, and going on the ego trip of thinking that our religion our point of view is the unique one and it's the only right one and everybody else is going to hell as long as we have that attitude we're defeating the very calling of the holy spirit within us yes and I'm glad you said that with the Holy Spirit, because the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, when people are touched by that divine light, you'll never be the same. You'll never be the same. Like you said, you're on a mission. You want to you wanna make sure to bring heaven on earth. And I believe that people that want to bring heaven on earth, it takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication. And that's what you've been doing. And a lot of perseverance. <laughs> A lot of perseverance through all the darkness of what we have to move through, you know, on, on this, uh, I call, I call it baby planet earth with baby souls on it. That's what we're dealing with. You have to understand that the people that are awake, they look around them and they go, Oh my gosh, you know, you, you, you want to, you want, you want to help where you can help. But I believe that the people that are awake to shine that golden sun within each other to help out in worldwide. Yeah. We need that golden suns, that Christ energy, you know. That yeah, So uh, many people seem, yeah. at least from my viewpoint, seem clueless. I mean, yeah. they, just, they, are. They, they are totally caught up in uh, the, the discordant music and the TV yeah. and uh, even, yeah. even the internet has a lot of trash on it. At least it has some truth. Uh, There's a lot of trash mixed yeah. in. And uh, yeah. people folk are focused on the things that are not going to help us. Yes, yes, exactly. And that's why I said I think we need to get back into the nature where you get into a canoe, get in the water, wherever. These people in Chicago come all the way over here. They're training just like the Polynesian. I was shocked. Oh, where are you from? I thought they were from Poland, right, the guys? Oh no, we're from Chicago, but we're we are we go to Poland because we're Polish. We speak the language and Marjana, but but you know, come on, you know how did they're the city where they they're training in the canals and everything over there. So let's train our light together and and bring it together. I don't care if it's like in the sweat lodge, we come together and and we we we. We sweat things out for three and a half, four hours. They call me Mooseheart with the Lakota. And, and you know, you go in with, with the feminine and the male and you balance it together and you do, they call homitake us in all our relations. Yeah, well, I, did, I used to do sweat lodges every month. I haven't done any in, in a number of years now, but I used, yeah. that used to be a regular part of my routine. 
Yeah. How long did you do it for? Um, probably, I'm going to say four or five years. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I was, I was, it was part of the Native American uh, shamanism, and uh, right. You know, we we had a a lodge right not you know a half an hour's drive from maybe twenty minutes drive from where I live, and we used to there was right on the river, uh, and we had the the sweat lodge and they would uh, cover it up with blankets and everything, uh, but the structure was just bent uh, trees and stuff branches and stuff like that. You know, with just a small opening, you had to get down on your on your hands and knees to go into the door. You couldn't walk in. You had to get really low and close to the ground. And and most most of the lodges I went into, they didn't we didn't wear any clothing. Although there were some yep. other people that ran lodges that you wore bathing suits. They were more you know right. We're, yeah. Or you wear shorts and you wear a shirt if you want. Usually the men don't. They just wear shorts, bathing suit, like you said. The women, you know, something comfortable because the heat's on. I mean, we're talking oh, temperature. Yeah, I, I, I've been there. Hundred, uh, hundred. But the, the main one that I used to do, we didn't, we didn't wear clothing at all. Everyone went in naked, and then it was right on the yeah. river, so that when you get out of the sweat lodge, everybody would walk out into the river and, uh, and right. you know. <laughs> get cooled down yeah that's what i did in northern california and then the birds go and follow, you know the raven i come running out of the lodge to get into the water and the bird spear the raven went right through above me the bird i call it the bird tribe spirit followed me right into that water to get in there and then cool off from all your relations yeah and people have i think it, i really do believe if people go back to the beginning of time with lodges i think that all these all this nonsense going on in the world with the drugs the alcohol and all that would disappear i think people would get clear with all their relations if they went into a lodge or, or some type of form to sweat it out i don't care if it's a sauna if it's a, a, a anything that that, that creates clearing of the emotional body mind body spirit and get just clarity so you can go forward and say what am i here to do to help humanity what am i here to make a difference and i think that will help the world in the situation we're in because they don't know they don't know what to do people are at an odds what what, what do we do next what other yeah. plans well we need to we need to be, be be willing to honor other people's spiritual traditions and even participate yes. in them and find yes. out from their perspective what they mean and if we did this yes. the walls would would almost evaporate because we'd have it we'd, we'd have opened our minds and more importantly our hearts and we'd be able to see the oneness yes yes and you and i know about the oneness you know and the people that are awake to it that are smiling. Why are you so happy? Well, because we've done our work to get there to be happy, right? We got into sweat lodges. We did the body work. I had all the body workers work on me. I had the yogi when I, I from being from uh, New York, Jersey, he, he went and stepped on my stomach. I yelled like a like like a lion in the in, in the in the, like the, like the Lion King to release all that energy from the tightness of being in the cities. I know. I've I've done I've done my work. You've yeah. done your work. You know. We know. We know what it takes to get there, and that's what we're hoping that the others will come along, and and and, and the the elders, the the ancestors, and the ones that done the work can help these other souls on the planet. Right. Yeah. yeah well, there, there is. The potential for a massive awakening is happening. I don't know what it's going to take. There needs to be something major that triggers humanity with a jolt to wake us up. And yes. I, I don't know exactly how that's going to happen, but something like that needs to occur. Yes. Yeah, that's the only way. I mean, you see all the disasters, I mean, and people come in. You see what's going on, you know, we see it on a daily basis and all, and it still doesn't, it, it still doesn't rock it.
you know what an asteroid from from the heaven have to come in and 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 shock shock the world you know come down you know what i'm saying yeah or uh the yellowstone you know blows up the <laughs> yeah yeah you know i don't know that's a caldera that's that's waiting to explode it's been a long 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 time since it exploded <laughs> but it has happened in our history in our more yeah. more distant history well i like to get together and talk about you know i think we should have a a, a happiness channel a good news channel we wanted to do it on a television station they said oh no we we want to bring good 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 news to the world let's get a good news channel like Let's go live with good news today. You know well, I mean? the people that run things don't want good news. They want to keep the fear quotient running high. Yeah. Somehow yeah. feed off of it. <laughs> Be, yeah, feed off it. So I think we undo it by bringing a happiness channel, you know, like a golden retriever, you know, wagging the tail, maybe. <laughs> wagging the tail going, how happy are you today and how come? Right? What is, what is your joy exuding today to help somebody what what breaks you get up and bring joy to the world right or or or, or bring light into the world we need to maybe we need to make, make get our own channels that, together and get to station and uh you know and radio people that 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 have done their work we need to bring that uh golden sons that that uh presence of god within each one of us yeah yeah, I agree. Uh, but most people don't even know that they have that light within themselves. They're, we're, we're too often looking out there. Now, there's a, you have to get the out there and the in the, and here working together. That's, yes. that's the situation. Yes. It's not just in here and it's not just out there. It's, it's both and, not either or. I, I've said that for yes. years. Yes, yes. And how, how, how we keep going and everything, Ron, you know, like you said, we smile because we know. We, 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 know, we know what it is to be in that presence. And we, we just wish others would come along. Like many have been called, we spoke about, few have been chosen. You know, well, where are the rest of them? Who's, you know, many have been called, few have been chosen, I was told. And I mentioned and said, and prayed about and says, we've all been called who's listening and i think that's and those that listen are the chosen ones because they're because right. they they're willing to tune in to the higher frequencies if you will and the calling the calling right. like you were sent you were sent you you had this inner inner knowing and knowledge and wisdom that you got called to 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 do this your your gift and you want to accomplish that mission while you're here on on Mother Earth, right? As we spoke mm -hmm. at the beginning of the program. <clears throat> Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you I've, I have felt that my whole life. I mean, I'm here to help bring the kingdom of heaven to Earth. Whatever that, yes. whatever form that takes, it's different than the, what we've been used to. It's not about war, it's not about money, it's not about all the things that have been put in place to divide us. It's about a coming together, not a separation. Yes, yes, and, and, and it is, it's very true about coming together. And uh, I, I, I believe people want to come together, but there's such th beliefs and differences and they, they just won't come together. You know, it's like, we got to break, break through. Like I said, maybe, maybe someone can be of help in another part of the world to help that person wherever they are, whether it's a sweat lodge, whether it's council, you know, they have all these therapists and counselors and all, and they're all burnt out from people because they don't know what to do after a while. No, well, I, I have a lot of these... friends, even on the spiritual path, that are really in difficult situations. I mean... They're getting, they're getting ill. I'm getting Yeah, I mean, I have some friends that, are, that have been sick for... that They still manage to, to go to work every day and stuff, but, but they're really, really struggling with, with illnesses and... and just, I mean, I, my heart goes out. My heart breaks when I hear some of the, when I talk to some of them uh, and hear what they're going through. It's just heart rending. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you on that, Ron. And people don't understand that uh, the souls, the, the ones that have come back to align what we call, you know, heaven on earth. There's far and few between because the other ones aren't listening. And that's why we can't bring heaven to earth because there's not enough of them that want, that believe that heaven can be put on earth because of all, all what they see around them instead of pursuing and, 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 and having faith to move through and join together and unite our forces of golden light, the golden suns, that presence of the God, you know, our presence of what we came to do. And I think that's the frustration on the planet right now of this, what you're seeing. Well, the, there's an old saying uh, in the Bible, and it's probably in other places too. Without a vision, the people perish. And if people yeah. don't have a vision of unity, they die. I mean, yeah. people, people die without hope because, right. because we, can't, we can't exercise our most intrinsic nature, which is love. You know, it, yeah. it is the golden sun, the diamonds of love. It is that within us. Yes. Yes, very much. Yeah, and then look look at the animals. You know, they, they flourish. The deer, there's 60,000 deer on Molokai, 60,000 deer on Maui. How come they're multiplying? They're, they're in unity in order to multiply. The king gives it as a gift, this golden deer. They're not just regular deer. They're golden. And they're yellow, and their their presence is just beyond. Wow! And, and they're like, they're like children. You never seen them. You never see anything like it. So the king gets a gift with these golden deer. You never seen anything like it. But they they flourish to sixty thousand on the island, and they let it continue because they have no 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 natural enemies. No actual enemies. So they keep flourishing. So maybe we need to flourish like the deer. <laughs> and, and, By the way, you have about three minutes left approximately, just so you know. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah. So, you know, look, 60,000 deer. If we get 60,000 people awake, or, or millions, I should say millions, hundreds of millions of people, you know what I mean? That awake, we would be able to take over the planet and bring heaven to earth. You know that. It's like you, you just put concerts together like, like Woodstock, for example, with Peter Gabriel, I mentioned. You know, when you bring people internationally into Woodstock in 94, their anniversary, or 69, look at the amount of people that listen when they want to have, they're in their joy in the music. It's universal language. That's what we need, universal language and healing. And that, that diamonds of love, that golden suns. Internationally, we need to speak to one another. And, and people ask me to do a, a, a song about the diamonds of love lyrically, and a book and a movie about the title itself because they know something about that presence. There's something about it that, that speaks to them. Well, whatever it is, if it's, if it's something that we can get into our presence and make a difference. And I think the unity, if the, if the animal kingdom can do it, then the human kingdom can do it too. Maybe they should start watching what the animals are doing. They work together. Well, a animals don't have all the impediments of intellect in the way. They, right. they are no. more intuitive and that therefore yes. connective with each other. Yeah, they're connective. Okay, that way. So then if we have the brains and all, then we need to connect also with our species on, on baby planet Earth with baby souls on it here in the United States and, and internationally around the globe. And, yeah. and I think pe people would be much more, uh, the inner peace would come back into their souls. I think we're missing the inner peace. I think we're, we're, it's all jittery. Everything's jittery. It's like, oh, what's gonna happen next? What's gonna happen next? Instead of just staying centered and focused on the inner peace and the balance. If we get into the balance and, 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 and that, I think we will move forward into the golden suns, the golden light, our presence together we can then surround the universe, you know, the, the, the planet, you know, uh, of helping, helping one another. Yeah. That's where we need to be. And anyway, we're, we're yeah. right up near the 30, the 30 minute mark, a little bit short of it right now. Uh, but okay. I do appreciate you being able to make the connection again. We we're missing for quite a little bit of time there, but, uh, 
Uh, we've yes. made another video and uh, it'll be shared shortly. So thank you, Valentine. Wonderful, wonderful, Ron. Yeah, and it's always wonderful to talk to you. And I'm, like I said, I'm still in Molokai and uh, taking in the presence of, of all the beauty. That's what I mean. People see beauty around the world and then they want to leave the beauty alone. Don't go and have to buy, buy this and buy this and try to build things up. Leave it the way it is. Let people enjoy the presence of that golden light of that, of that waterway that they have for, for the people on the island, the, the, the mountain. Leave it alone. Just leave things be, you know? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's well, thank I'm you saying. very much and right. namaste, my friend. Yeah, a golden suns and the golden light to you ahead, brother. And rainbows to the heart, to everyone. The golden roses ahead. Thank you.